everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I turn on my colored light therapy and I talk about spiritual topics that I need to hear so that I can keep my vibration high and keep my focus and stay manifesting all positive and abundant things in my life. So today I got great news. I got accepted into Best American Psychics, which is a, an online portal for some of the best psychic, psychics in America. And they put us through rigorous testing, readings and uh, background checks and all sorts of stuff. And woohoo, I made it in. Yay. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'll put a link in the profile, but I'm not up there yet. I got to get all my stuff up. So once I'm up, I'll put I'll make another announcement on social media or whatever. <sighs> Pretty excited. So today I just wanted to follow up on my last vlog, which was about confidence and probably partly because it's something that I'm dealing with, you know, and, and this, um, I've always been confident about my psychic abilities. That's never been an issue because I know I've got skills and gifts and always have. Um, and especially lately, it's just gotten crazy off the charts, but confidence is so important for being able to manifest and also for attracting positive things back into your life. Because when you're needy or insecure, which is easy, really easy to fall into, especially these days, um, but when you're very confident and sure of yourself and you're exuding all of that positivity, people are attracted to you and it brings a lot more abundance into your life. And I said that in my last vlog, oh, I'm sweating. It's not even 130 yet and I'm sweating. It's because I took some time off from the sauna because I've been traveling all month, last month and this month. <sighs> Feels great to be back in here. Anyway, so this is a thing though. You have to be very aware of people in your life that try to knock you off your confident horse, okay? Because people don't always realize it, but when somebody tries to make you feel less than, whether it's conscious or subconscious, it's conscious then they're just a flat-out energy vampire and they can be an energy vampire if it's subconscious too but it's an energy exchange whereby they suck your energy out to make themselves feel better it's almost like they're siphoning your confidence off by saying or doing things to make you feel less confident or insecure and when you have those people in your life, okay, first of all, you have to determine whether they're doing it on purpose or whether they're doing it because they're actually insecure and they don't realize that's what they're doing, but that's how they make themselves feel better, okay, by making you feel worse. So first you have to assess that. Is, is, is this person in my life doing it maliciously? And if they are out next bye felicia and if they're doing it subconsciously or maybe they're doing it because that's how they were raised and that's how they were taught to be if they felt somehow attacked or pushed into a corner or made to feel insecure themselves or their own insecurities just came out or are or, or prevalent in their own lives they feel the need to take your confidence away so that they can feel more confident all right so first you gotta assess What's the bottom line there? Where's that coming from? Is it some sort of childhood BS that they haven't gotten through? Or if it's actually really literally malicious and then those people you just can't be bothered with anymore. Okay. So if it's something that's from their own insecurities and their own childhood or their own past or whatever, and they don't realize it. The trick is to really make them aware that it's not okay to do that. And what they do is they insult or they undermine or they do things 
that make you question their motives or their uh, feelings towards you, okay? And all of these things are very <laughs> low vibration and will immediately drop your vibration down into the toilet and make, make you have anxiety and make you have these feelings of, you know, wondering what the hell is going on and, you know, just terrible stuff. Okay. And then sometimes we can do it to ourselves personally when we're dealing with people that are insecure because it's just a dynamic that happens, an energy exchange that happens. And so you have to really keep your energetic guard up and your boundaries up and your protection up and your white light around yourself. And you have to try to talk to these people and say, look, I'm not going to put up with that anymore. I'm not going to be insulted or made to feel less than for any reason. Okay. And so becoming conscious of those types of interactions and or those types of people is the first step in eliminating that behavior and eliminating that energy in your, in your energy field and your direct surroundings, because it's so important to keep your vibration high. And when you have people consciously or subconsciously always trying to undermine and bring you down, it's going to take so much energy to stay up that it's like a constant battle. Okay. So whew, try to get them to get it. And if they don't get it, eventually you got to let, let it go. You know, you really do because it'll just take you down eventually. Cause you can't always be doing that battle round and round. It's not, it's not a, a really positive way to use your energy. You know, you should use your energy doing, keeping your own vibration up, but also helping others keep their vibration up. And if you've got somebody trying to undermine, it's like, ah, what the hell? Whew, so I'm going to meditate on that now because yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to relish the fact that I just got accepted into one of the most elite groups of psychics in the probably world, certainly the country, right? Oh, baby, pat on my back. And so I'm blessing all of you giving thanks and I'm so grateful for all of you that tune into this whenever it is and I hope you all get a dose of positive energy from any of these vlogs that I do and so I'm sending blessing oh and please subscribe really please it really just I just want to know that I'm making a difference right I just want to know and I want to be there for people and if you subscribe I'll give you a free one question reading easy all right so be